Coming up next is DC News number 114, and we're going to talk about the return of the Black Hands of the Green Lantern universe and what Ethan Van Skyver, the artist and writer, is also up to over at DC. He's going to be doing some moving around. Also, we're going to talk about whatever happened to Dark Knight the Boy Wonder. Jim Lee and Frank Miller are going to work on that. We're going to bring you up to date on that. And we're going to talk about the return of the funniest guy in the DC universe. All that and more coming right up. DC Comic Book News. Bow and comic book man style. Hey, buffoonery is a style. There's room for politics in the video outhouse. It's in the basement. <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 114. Frisk and Frolic Fiesta. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for DC News. Source. He does that like he knows what he's talking about. It's amazing. DC News, and it's coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new DC comics, all of them, all of them, are always 15% off every day for everyone. Bo. Yes? Black Hand caused a lot of problems in the Green Lanterns universe yes, back about two years ago well, or so. Blackest Night. Blackest Night. Came Black out Hand, the grave, Blackest Night. Came out of the grave. Oh. He had, he had a little dinner party with his family. It was great. It was really disgusting. It was great. And nobody's seen him for a while, but guess who's back? He will be playing a major role in the ne next Green Lantern storyline, which will end in an annual drawn by your old buddy, Ethan Van Skyver. Oh, I love Ethan! And by the way, you're going, well, how is Ethan going to work on that and do Fury of Firestorm as a co-writer? He's leaving that book. Really? Yes. Well, he's, the co well, he's the I'm co writer. Joe Harris will still be there. But, yes. But, and, you know, basically, he's le they've left enough plots for another year. And, you know, New 52, 12, after the 12th issue, who knows where DC's going after that point? So it may not matter. Where do you think DC's going after the New 52? I think they're going to go after for the 12th a, issue. I think they're going to go for a sec. Well, they're going to they're gonna have something special after issue number 12. But I think yeah, they're well, gonna we're going to talk about that in DC News 115 right. coming up next. But they, I think they're going to go at least two years with this. Two, two years? At least two. Where is there to go? Well, 24 then. 24. Oh. And, you know, and then at that point you flip 12, everything. But, yeah. You know, six, and then two. Right. I yeah. bet you they go 52 months with it. <laughs> 52 months would work too. 52 months with 52 it. I months. bet they go 52 months. I don't know why. That number just popped into my head. I don't know 52 why. 52 seems to be something. 52 sounds right. like a good number that they would go with. Take a All these books end with issue 52? Yes. That's three and a half years. Well, zero. I don't know, zero issue two, but zero, zero, zero issues don't count. Zero, yes. Yeah, so well, whoop. They don't count. Giving away the lead. For the they season. don't count. No, they don't count. They don't. They don't count at all. We're not oh. going to talk about that. What we are going to talk about though is Dark Knight, the Boy Wonder. That was a Jim Lee series. What the hell happened? That there? was Jim Lee and Frank Miller. Frank Miller's turned his scripts Frank in. Frank Miller. <laughs> no, no, Miller's turned his scripts in. They're yes. not waiting for him. Jim Lee's working on Justice League, and so he cannot work on Dark Knight, Boy Wonder, to finish off what they started. Miller's scripts I'm are in. I'm the goddamn Boy Wonder. Right. <laughs> Miller's scripts are in. He's been paid for it. He's done with it. But Lee's drawn Justice League, and Lee has a little issue with deadlines, and so, you know, really? hey, something goes off to the side. Besides, the entire concept behind Dark Knight, Boy Wonder, the all-star thing, no 52, who gives a crap anymore? Really? Well, it, when it, in the old 52, the old DC universe, all-star wasn't part of that universe anyway. Right. I mean, it's, so it's always been a separate thing. It's a separate little niche thing that they're working on, but I mean, it's like, a, okay, a parallel, A parallel Earth. A parallel Earth. It's one of the 52 Earths. Yeah. But I'd like to see a Miller Dark Well, Miller. Miller's Darkness. Miller and Lee. I'd like Frank, to see Frank Miller has turned him. his scripts in for what the book's supposed to be, but Lee's got to draw them. Yeah. So Miller, because Miller doesn't work for DC. Miller and DC are more or less not even talking to each other anymore. They're done. Are they mad at each other? Uh, I don't think Miller's mad at DC. I don't think Miller gives a crap about DC. And I don't, yeah. and no one, no, it's just, no one's ever walked up to Frank Miller and goes, so what do you think about the new 52? He does, so. he does another spirit movie and he may care about wow. DC again. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to see that happen. <laughs> well, but see, hey, but, remember Buck Rogers? <laughs> it's an eight dollar budget, but you know, you know, Mil 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 he, did, he did that Holy Terror graphic novel, which yeah. sold really well. He oh, could work over at Legendary, it didn't sell that well. And and three, the I sequel, to, the, the sequel of the Three Hundreds coming out. So Miller's not exactly starving for money, okay? Yeah. Okay. And our final story this time for DC News is there are no plans right now to bring Superboy Prime into the New Fifty Two. However, however, one of your favorite villains is coming back pretty quick. They're gonna bring back the Joker. Really? What a surprise. Well, the first Did they kill him and cut his face off? And yeah, so I'm assuming when we see him again, his face his will be face sewn off? back on. Yes, the first issue of Tony Daniels' Detective Comics, the Joker's face was cut off. Yes. Which 
didn't make him any more happy because, you know, not having a what face. They, what they do a lot of abrasion. Well, well they, they peeled it off. They, they like, peeled it off him, and he's saying he was, but he was still grinning. He's, yeah, he was still grinning. And Superboy Prime. Well, how, scalp. How exactly do you do Superboy Prime in the new 52 anyway when the Superboy that exists in the new 52 has nothing to do with the other Superboy? Then maybe that's one of the reasons why they have no interest in bringing him back right. anytime soon. <laughs> The comic books, but logic does not. I mean, apply. I mean, I mean, but the Superboy, right? He's a clone. <laughs> he didn't come from Krypton. Well, there you go. Yeah, you know, there Superboy you go. Prime. What? He's a clone of a clone. Did we do this in the ultimate? Uh, with the well, no. Ghost Superboy, Superboy Prime. Prime isn't a clone. Well, so, yeah, but Superboy Prime's world doesn't exist. Well, no, it doesn't exist, but it hasn't existed since the first Crisis, which was the whole point behind him going that shit maybe, crazy. Maybe in the first he's place. hanging out in, in an alternate universe with Mirror Master and and and, oh, and Psycho Pirate. I am hoping that the whole thinking. DC universe is hanging out somewhere in an alternate universe, waiting to come back. I really am. This is it. Yeah, sure. Learn to love it. Yeah, sure it is. And that's it. We're done. We're finished right here. We got no more DC news. But go to the store's website. Check out all the DC news. This man sends me that I post up. This man. Yes. Where's the store's website? It's on the internet. Oh, perfect. www.myalternatereality.com. We took down the picture of Bo and Espito, so now it's safe to go back. So stop off at the store's website and check out all of his news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is Bo. Do you think it's made out of spiders or something? Is that what a website's supposed to be? Saying. Oh, I got it. Bye! Alternate reality now opens at 10.30 instead of 11 on Sundays. It's in half an hour of sleep over this. Means you guys better show up. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.